Hi, I'm Marcus Rush and uh, we're at the 2018 NAMM show and I'm here to present the Micro, uh, the Mellotron Micro. It's a two octave version of uh, the, the Mellotron keyboards and it's got a hundred sounds built into it and the, it's got Mellotron sounds, like the classic, the classic strings from Mellotron. And it has also the Chamberlain Library. And uh, this version is our most uh, uh, competitively priced product. It's uh, $980. And the, the, the main difference between this instrument and, and, and the instruments in the M4000D series is that this cannot be expanded with uh, any sounds. Uh, it, uh, it has the 100 sounds built into it and uh, uh, the, the expansion cards that are available for the M4000D series uh, uh, are not, uh, uh, it's not possible to use them in this instrument basically. So it's very light, portable and it has MIDI in, out and through and uh, it runs from an external power supply that can be used anywhere in the world. It's got a high quality uh, keypad with monophonic aftertouch and semi-weighted keys. Um, and the octave is, as, can, as you can see, the, the, the keyboard has two octaves. So there's an octave switch. So you can switch between the three octaves of the Mellotron and Chamberlain library. And it's got uh, many features of the of the large, it's, it's larger um, cousins, so to say, the M4000D. You can do playlists. You can you can also go into the configuration menu and do certain settings. Not quite as many as in the M4000D series because it's a different audio engine. But it's uh, it's many many features are the same, so to say, and the sounds are the same as the stock sounds of the M4000D, the hundred that are included in, in the M4000D series. So this is the M4000D Mini, as uh, uh, you all might have heard about. It's been out now for three years, and we made only a slight change, but pretty important to this instrument, and that it's aluminum case now. So it's four kilos, that's eight pounds lighter, and so it should, uh, should be possible to take it uh, on, on, as airplane luggage, even with a very heavy case. So um, that's the only, only, it's not that easy to do it in aluminum as a matter of fact, but now we've done that so they're a lot uh, lighter. And what we also will be coming out with in the next few weeks is an expansion card with the Optagon library. So we have both of the both the sample directly from the um, uh, from the discs, all of the sounds, uh, and what I just showed you before are the the hi-fi versions, so to say. Those are versions from directly from the master tapes. But this is taken from a disc, for example. So that was from a, from a, an, a, an original disc. So you have all the sounds from discs and most of the sounds. On, uh, uh, from the Optagon on from the master tapes also. Then we have the, uh, it's quite a few sounds as you can see. The orchestra. And in the other end of this library we have, and the orchestra of course that's only nine, nine sounds, but they're very good of course. So, and then we have the, the other, the third, uh, optical playback organ, which is the, the Chilton Talent Maker, which has a very good library, with some lead sounds and uh, quite a few uh, rhythms. So that will be coming out uh, in uh, in uh, in a few weeks. So. Uh, it's um, it's uh, an, an interesting card with looping. There on all of those sounds, all of the sounds on those on that card are looped, as they were, of course, in the original um, on the original instruments because those were discs, so those were always looped. 
uh, but th uh, th this looping feature does not affect any of the Mellotron sounds. They're as before nine seconds long, so to say.